on Phantom Army is your boy Phantom Stilts and welcome back guys once again to a brand new class setup video on the channel for Modern Warfare 2. Today we're taking a look at the Vel 46 uh, and I wanted to give you guys a little bit of a uh, sort of an OP build for uh, multiplayer rather than Warzone. You could probably put this in Warzone and it would do just fine but today we're rocking with the Vel 46 and I'm going to show you guys my setup and what I use for it. Uh, when I have it maxed out with all the attachments and uh, the level maxed out from to, to level 29. So um, let's get right into this build. Make sure to like and subscribe if you guys are brand new to the channel. That way you guys don't miss any new videos or live streams or any other content put up on the channel. Monday, Wednesday, Friday, we're doing some content for you guys as well as Tuesday, Thursday. We are going to be pumping out some streams. So without any further ado, let's get right into this build and uh, let's go through it real quick. So more or less... Uh, we have five different attachments. Um, like I said, most of the time what we're trying to do with these builds is get as much damage as we can out of the gun as well as making it as mobile and recoil, uh, uh, lessening the recoil and the ability to shoot it, making it a lot easier to shoot and trying to get rid of that recoil at the same time. All right, guys, so let's get right into the build. So the first thing we have is the Schlager RV barrel. Uh, I went with this for the sheer fact that it gives you those, uh, it sort of gives you that um, Echoless 80 uh, that we've used on the previous AR builds. It sort of gives you that um, bump as far as statistics are concerned with the SMGs. So it gives us that bullet velocity hit, um, the damage range hit, the recoil control, and the hip fire accuracy. So obviously, like I said, most of these builds are made to make the gun as lethal as possible. So we went with these four uh, to give us a little bit of bump in those areas to make the gun a little bit easier to shoot, as well as uh, doing more damage from range. So we're hitting people uh, with some, uh, some more oomph. Uh, down range so we went with that for the barrel we also tuned this bad boy for recoil steadiness all the way to the top and we went with damage range all the way to the right for the barrel next thing we went with was the Syngard mkv muzzle and the reason we went with this is because we have the sound suppression more bullet velocity more damage range and more recoil smoothness um so we lost a little bit i think with the aim down sight speed and a couple other things as far as the aiming was concerned and the handling of the weapon um, so we're still taking a bit of an L there, but we're going to pick that up with some other attachments to make this gun a little bit more viable and a little bit easier to shoot. Um, so with the weapon tuning for the SIM card MKV, I went all the way, all the way for the, uh, recoil smoothness as well as all the way for the bullet velocity. So that's what I did with that guy. Uh, next we have the phase three grip. And the reason I went with the phase three grip was it gives us that aiming idle stability, the hip fire accuracy and the recoil stabilization. So remember how I told you that we're giving up a little bit in the first two attachments as far as statistics were concerned. We're making it up a little bit here with a big, 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 big bump in accuracy. So um, we're sort of making it up as we go as far as the attachments, but I want to make sure that damage is the forefront of what we're trying to make in almost every build that we do on this channel. So... Uh, with that being said, we also tuned the phase three grip. So we did that for recoil stabilization as well as aiming idle stability. Uh, so that gave us a little, a little bit of bump in the recoil control as well as the accuracy, a huge, huge bump uh, from what we lost from the previous two attachments. Um, next, we went with the overpressured 4.6 millimeter uh, ammunition. Um, the reason I did this is because it gives us more crippling power. Uh, I tend to like the hollow point or the uh, the overpressured plus P more than any other ammo in this game. I just think it adds a whole other dynamic to the weapon, uh, no matter what you're using. So if it is available, that's what I would recommend for each gun that you use, whether it's an AR, an SMG. If it's available, use it. Um, I also tuned this guy. So we did damage range all the way to the top and recoil steadiness all the way to the left. Um, so... More or less, I want to give this thing, you know, as much damage as it can handle, while at the same time, we don't want to sacrifice too much handling and too much of a uh, slow draw when we pick the weapon up um, to shoot. And then last but not least, we have the Saken Rubber Grip. Um, the reason I went with this guy is because it gives us flinch resistance. So like I said, a little bit more makeup of the previous four uh, attachments that we used, trying to make up a little bit more accuracy and making this gun a little bit easier to shoot, even though we're doing some serious damage with it. And I also tuned the grip as well. Uh, so I did that for recoil steadiness and aiming idle stability. So again, making up some more accuracy, some more recoil control, and trying to make the gun a little bit easier to shoot when we're in those gunfights and uh, sort of aiming downside of the target, even while we're getting hit. Um, so that's more or less the build that I wanted to show you guys. That's the primary build for the uh, Vel 46. And then as far as the... Uh, Class setup as far as the rest of the stuff. So I went with the X12 uh, pistol. 
And we didn't throw any attachments on this or anything, so it's just sort of the base gun, but we will get into attachments once we level this up a little bit more because we're only four, level 4 out of 20, so we don't have a lot of uh, stuff to deal with or stuff to uh, work with as far as the attachments are concerned for the pistol. Um, as always, we go with our stim and our throwing knife for the perk package, or for our lethal and our tactical, respectively. The perk package, like I said, we're running the same perk package for multiplayer uh, every single match, so it doesn't really matter uh, what we're... What we're doing as far as weapons are concerned our perk package is always going to be that scavenger which allows us to resupply ammo and throwing knives from dead players um so we're running on the, running around the map picking all that stuff up rather than having to look for it or uh, running out of ammo if we're in the middle of a fight uh tracker so we can see enemy footprints around the map like i always say red means they're hot they're very close to you and white means that you got to do a little bit more digging a little bit more uh following to see if you can catch up with them fast hands you can reload, use equipment, and swap weapons faster. All, like I've always said on each build that I've done, I think Fast Hands is a very underutilized perk, especially for my play style that's very aggressive. So when I'm around players uh, and I kill players, um, I'm very, very meticulous about reloading after that fact. So Fast Hands is perfect for me. So if you like to do that or have more of an aggressive play style, I would definitely recommend Fast Hands, see how you like it, and then you can sort of go from there. Uh, the last ultimate perk, or the last perk we're going to go over is the ultimate perk, which I, I once again, I'm going to say is the most OP perk of the game, is Ghost. Um, it's und You're undetectable by UAVs, portable radars, and heartbeat sensors when you're on the map. So you're running around the map in multiplayer, you're running around the map in Warzone. If you have this perk enabled, you're going to be just fine. Um, you will not be seen by UAVs, obviously, portable radars or heartbeat sensors, making you a little bit more stealthy, a little bit more ninja-esque on the map. Um so that's more or less the build guys uh that is the vel 46 build that i wanted to show you guys that i think is it's about as op as i can get for what i have unlocked um, i'll just be doing updates of every build that i've done once the attachments become more and more um available uh because you do have to level up other weapons in order for other attachments to become available for you to use so that's more or less what I wanted to show you guys as far as the build was concerned. Let me know down in the comments what weapons you guys are using. If you guys are more of an SMG type player, AR player, if you're a sniper, um, run around with a shotgun like an asshole. <laughs> um, but without any further ado, that's the build, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure to like and subscribe if you guys are brand new here. That way you guys don't miss any new videos like this, which are class setups, as well as other videos and content on the channel. And then live streams. Like I said, every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, we're trying to give you guys content to chew on until those Tuesday, Thursday streams. So... Without any further ado, this is your boy Phantom Stilts. Thank you guys again so much for stopping by the channel and checking out the video. And I will see you guys on the next one. Take care, guys. Stop!